I go by I Dig Stuff, and uh, we're going to be doing some alt sound remixes and stuff coming up. So I just want to do a quick, uh, easy video on how to get alt sound running on your cab and also why you should be using it. Uh, so when you download an alt sound, it'll come as a zip file. The name will match the ROM of the uh, table that you're intending to use the alt sound with, just like a pup pack. So like if we open this one up, inside is our alt sound folder, as you can see. For who done it, this matches the ROM name. Think of it as a pup pack, as in instead of videos inside, you have audio files. And that's basically the difference. So let's take this, drag it to our desktop. We're already halfway there. And all we've done is download it. So now, basically, we'll go to where our visual pinball is installed. So on mine, it's in the C folder. System C, visual pinball. Within that, you're going to have your VPIN main folder. Open that. Now what you're going to want to do is look for an alt sound folder. If you don't have one, which I've removed it for the demonstration purposes, we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it alt sound. And we're going to take our new alt sound, drag it in. Now you have alt sound installed. There's literally one step left. It's that easy. We're going to go to the table that we want to use the alt sound, open VPX. Go to our whodunit. We're going to load the table. And once the table's loaded, we're going to hit F1 on our keyboard. That's going to open up this menu. Now you have lots of pin name uh, options here. You're going to go to Alt Sound Mode, and you're going to make sure Typically, yours is going to be on zero. Zero means I'm getting audio for this table from the ROM. By switching this to one and hitting OK, you're now saying, hey, get that audio from this cool new alt sound that I just put in this folder in VPIN main. Uh, as it says here, you will not hear anything until you reload the table. So it says restart pin main, but I usually just quit the table out and reload it. So let's do that. Quitting the table out, F5 to reload it. And now when you reload, you're going to have alt sound working. It's literally that easy, guys and gals. So let's hear what that sounds like. All right, so as you can see, it's replaced all that audio with the new alt sound audio. And then I was on the case. And that's really it, guys. It's just that simple. So now that we've talked about installing alt sound, let's talk about why we want to use alt sound. Um, a lot of the alt sounds are very cool. Uh, remixes that update the sound effects, that replace a lot of the music with the maybe original soundtracks, if it's a film or something like that, or just alternative fun music. Um, but a lot of the alt sounds are also just the ROM sounds transferred over to an alt sound. Now, why would you want to do that? Uh, when you're using it from a ROM, as you all know, with the 8 and the 9 key, you can either turn the sound up or you can turn it down, and that's pretty much all the control you get. Well, with an alt sound, let's go into our alt sound folder, which is in our VPIN main folder that we made in the first step. And let's look at this inside our alt sound for who done it in this case. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see all the individual files. If I go down to the bottom, every alt sound is going to have this CSV file in there. And that's the magic of making the sounds do what you want to do. So you can see at the top here, it's telling you what each column means. Without getting too in-depth, the main one that you're going to want to worry about is gain. That just means volume, basically. So you can see all these set are 50. A lot of the alt sounds, they max out at 50, even they go up to 100 because you don't want them to uh, distort and sound crappy. So 50 is kind of where we start out. Some of them you can see I've bumped up if they're really low. But let's say this roof multi-ball goes off and it's just way too loud. All you would do is you come here, 
take that, lower the volume, save it, and now the next time you play the table, that music will be lower volume. It's really that simple, guys. If there's something that is constantly playing that you just is annoying and you really don't like it, you could put that volume to zero. You could just remove that entry, save it, and that sound's now gone. So play with this. There's lots of options. It really gives you control over the sound on your tables much more than using the ROM sounds. It offers uh, a lot of remixes that can be used, which update the sounds. There's just a ton of potential here, guys, and a lot of uh, people might be like, afraid of using it or not understand it or you know maybe you use it but you really haven't got into the csv and messed with it so i just wanted to show you quickly all the stuff that can be done with alt sound and how easy it is to install so that's it thanks guys